This video is all about getting Stella well. Good morning guys, it is so late. And we are just starting the video now. We are getting ready to go out. Sam is already home from work. And I'm looking everywhere for my phone. Like I could not find my phone because I want to take it with me. I don't want to forget it today and it was in my hand. I like looked everywhere. But anyway, <laughs> we are, Sam and I are headed out to do a little bit of running around. The reason I am starting the vlog at 3.45 today is because, um, yeah, I got no excuse. No, I'm just joking. I've been trying to clean up and get our house situated. When you're away all summer, things pile up, let me tell you. Another big issue is that I have like, uh, I don't know, six pairs of summer shoes that I wear, different kinds. And between the trailer and here, I can never keep track of a pair of shoes. So I'm going to have to wear flip-flops today and flip-flops are sore on my feet. And yesterday I did so much walking that my, feet, my foot got sore again. So yeah, that is just annoying. <laughs> Days where you spend inside cleaning make you realize, um, make you shocked when you walk outside and it's scorching hot out here. The yard needs to be done. Uh, today's Wednesday. Is it only Wednesday? Yeah, so I have like at least one more day to get stuff done before we head back to the trailer. Um, Sam and I are just doing some running around and one of the reasons I didn't do a lot of vlogging today was because I wanted to share with you guys what happened yesterday when the vet came back. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, um, I'll put an uh, iCart up here. And if you did, then you know that the vet came yesterday as a special request. He wasn't planning to come uh, that quickly um, to examine Stella. And he decided that she de definitely needed some kind of treatment and we needed to see what was wrong with her. So he had other calls to make and we decided to reconvene at the barn at 4 p.m. so that we could do some testing and see what was wrong with our poor mare. Like, anyway, it was a really sad time for me just seeing her in pain and seeing and hearing the diagnosis was just really sad. And I'm gonna share all of that footage right now with you guys. And I just want to ask you guys to keep Stella in your prayers so that she can heal because we just want her to not be in pain and we just want her to be the best horse that she can be and I just want to also talk a little bit about that a lot of you guys think we made a mistake so many of you guys think that we got that we made a mistake buying Stella, that she's a mess, that she's not gonna amount to anything for us, that she's not the horse that we need. And I just wanna tell you guys, like, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, Stella was meant to be our horse. We did not make a mistake. We, we made one of the best decisions of our life. If we can't jump her, that is not a big deal. Every animal has a value, every single one, and she is an amazing horse. She's already in this short, short amount of time, taught me so much, taught Sophie so much, taught us all so much as a family, and I am never gonna regret buying her, and I would do it again in a second. Stella needed us, as much as we needed her and I just want you guys to know that and know that never will I ever think that we made a mistake buying Stella I think that God led us to Stella and that um, Stella was meant to come home with us but anyway I just want to share that with you guys so that you don't think that we feel cheated somehow but anyway on with the footage hi guys we are at the barn it is 4 p.m. We're waiting to meet the vet here. He said he'd be here between four and five. So we're gonna help with chores and then we're gonna start some testing on Stella. You guys know that she's been lame. She was lame when we got her. Seems to kinda be doing a little worse lately and we're going to see what we can do to fix our girl up because like I told you guys, every life is valuable. Do you guys know how amazing Toby is? Like you know how cute he is and how little and when after he eats, he looks like a little sausage. His belly is as big as his, the rest of him. Just like a little circle. And um, he's just like the cutest, little, most loving little dog. Like wouldn't you love to have Toby? Like a lot of you guys would probably like to have Toby. There was a time when we got Toby that nobody would have wanted to have him. He was uncivilized. He didn't even ever be handled his whole entire life. He was a year old. 
he was so skinny. There's a video on this channel if you want to go back about Toby's story. Um, people would not have wanted him, but we got him and we fixed him up and it took two years, you guys, two complete years to make him the dog that he is now. And he's amazing. He's amazing and Stella already is amazing. So we just need to spend the time, get her fixed up and let her be her best self. X-ray time, Stella. This won't hurt, my love. You're such a good girl. I'm just going to take that one again. I need to slightly change the angle. Left, left, hawk. Medium to lateral Wow, that's an amazing machine. Perfect. And right there. You're such a good girl. Uh, right in between. Down a little bit. We talked about how there's four joints, right? One of them is like the big joint, which is the joint space here. Um, and it usually communicates with this joint. And then there's supposed to be a pretty obvious joint in here, and then this joint. So those are the four. That third one is not very defined. Does that mean it's fused together? It's using, um, not very easy to make out. Some of it is just my angles, but usually when you see one and two, you should be able to see the third one at least partially. And again, like you can sort of see where there's joint space at the front. You can't see the line. You can see the obvious one here. There's arthritic change here, so it's sharp. I mean, they're little. I can zoom in on them just to give you a better idea. These little like sharp protuberances are abnormal. Um, and these, this little, these little flakes. In hey, I saw that and thought abnormal. that looked funny. Um, and then again, this is abnormal. This should be straight across. flat, smooth. Um, should be nice, straight. You've got arthritic change in that, um, lower joint. What are the chances that's going on in both? Uh, pretty good, I would think. Okay. What do you say? Pretty good. It's again hard to say because I mean, could this have been an old injury? Yeah, that's what we think. It certainly could have been an old injury. Who knows what happened when she got that scar? Did exactly. She get cast? Could she have struggled? Tweaked something? I mean, this could be related to an injury because I mean, for a 12 year old to have hock joints that are like literally almost fused is a little bit peculiar. Apparently. Yeah. Um, now, the question. The, the million dollar question. Is, no, no, no. Let's say the $500 what, question. Is what can we do? I mean, what's going to improve her? We, we know we've localized the area to the hawk, but as I said, there's four joints, two of which generally communicate. So we're down to three joints, if you want to call it that, that yeah. could potentially be the problem. We know she has fluid in the big joint and she had those those little flex and fragments there. Right. Um, so I would say there's a good probability that that joint is causing some discomfort. Uh, this joint, which is almost fused, but not quite, could still be in a state of mild pain. Um, once it fuses, it will not be. That's a very low motion joint and it can fuse and she could go on looking, trotting completely normal and you okay. might never know. And then, there's the, and then there's the lower joint, which certainly could be causing some of the pain. Sometimes this joint and this joint communicate. 
it's like somewhere in the 30 to 50 percent of, of horses it communicates yeah um if i was injecting this joint usually i use steroids because acid on its own is not very effective okay um like I said this morning, I'm very hesitant to use steroids yeah. in her yeah. at this point. There's another time. there's another thing, isn't there, instead of acid? There are other things that I would Hyal want. Hyaluronic acid, which is already... Hyaluronic acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In steroids. There. Yeah, but I've read um, one other like, thing. And there's a bunch of other things okay. that people will put in joints. Um, Adequin, which I can't get here, which okay. I would put in that joint if I could get it. Okay. Um, and it's not a steroid. Um, polyglycan, which I would put in that joint. The problem is... It's a lot more expensive. Yeah. And it comes it comes only in one size of vial and like I don't feel comfortable putting it in the other joint of the hawk. If if I could put it in the other joint I'd say, Okay, well you you know, you buy a vial, we split it in between. Right, it'll be spots, worth it. And you can't and save the other it. half of the vial for another you time. I can't save it to put in a joint another time. Once I've pierced that vial, yeah. it's not something I want to put in a joint just because of the yeah. infection risk. Exactly. So the um, issue with the steroid are her the feet. Risk. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I mean, personally, what I would probably be tempted to do would do this in a, a nice stepwise treat, process. Yeah, good. We have, we have big puffy joint. Let's treat it. Put straight acid in there because that's what I would put in anyway. I would potentially put in a little bit of steroid, but... Which joint I don't would you inject to. into? Was that? Which joint would you inject into where the crunchies are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and see what kind of response we get. If we get a good, a great response, perfect. We're, you know, we found the spot that's causing her the most pain. We address it as needed. If we get, you know, a mediocre response, we get improvement, but she's still not perfect. I'd say, okay, well, let's put her on like Prevacox yeah. temporarily to alleviate pain, assuming that those lower joints are potentially causing pain as they're trying to How fuse. long will it take for them to fuse? That, the middle one, I mean, I, I think it's a matter of, you know, months to, you know, a few years. The other one, I mean, this one that doesn't look terribly arthritic could be, you know, years and years down the road. Like, okay. you might be talking 10 years before it's Does like Does she look arthrit to, arthritic? There's mild arthritic changes in that joint. Okay. And, I mean, there's going to be arthritic changes in this joint with those little crunchy bits there, right. which are potentially traumatically induced or they might be something that she had from like birth and birth. yeah i'm so guessing could her three days of trail riding have few, like brought this off or what, what i could would have say already... what could have been happening only is one whatever day of trail you know y yes yeah the more the, i think hour. maybe just being in exercise maybe things have moved okay maybe something was... has just been aggravated and just brought on the it, inflammatory yeah. response okay yeah because she never was this lame before. No. no. Yeah. She was lame on the front. When we bought her, she yeah. was lame on the front. Yeah, which we've addressed with feet. And yeah. it's become sounder. Like, the yeah. front's great. Now the back has yeah. never become sound. Yeah. So. So that's, I think that's what I would do as the stepwise approach. Okay. Inject yeah. that joint. Okay. And then if she's not, you know, great after, we put her on Prevacox. And how long would you wait? A couple weeks? Before, uh, before I decide if it's effective? Pre yeah. I would say, you know, a week to 10 days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would, I, you know, what day are we today? Wednesday? Yeah. I would be giving her, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. Yeah. Sunday, could, you know, if you were going to ride her, I would say a light ride Sunday and then sort of back to normal Monday. All right, Stella, you're going to get some medicine in your hawk and it's going to hopefully make you feel so much better. What do you think of that? And then you're going on a crazy diet. You're gonna be in your own field. You're gonna eat soaked hay, and you're gonna get exercise when you're sound every day, five days a week. She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not. Poor girl. Poor girl. We'll see if we can make you better. Everybody pray. See, everybody pray for Stella. It's a sedative, so she doesn't feel it when he puts it in her joint. She's like, I don't like that. So she probably doesn't even feel it. Whoops. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Keep going, Stella, before you fall asleep. She's like, whoa. How's that? Perfect.
You want me to hold her tail? Nope, I'm gonna tie it. Look, she's in such a good position for you. Say hello, you look so pretty with a short tail. Goodbye. <laughs> Is she out? <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't want you to hold her up like Sabrina. She's trying actually, she's waiting towards me now. Feet are pretty good. She good resting that foot? For now, yeah. Hello. <laughs> you're okay. Like you're, you're normally your normal life is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Make fun of me, mom. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> I remember Sabrina. She was like feisty with it. I've never seen her that. She says, I've been telling you, I've been sore. I didn't want to go on that trail ride. Storm's over there. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad it's you. Did I expect a reaction up here or no? No, but you can sort of with that twitch. Right about now. It's okay. What's that coming out? Joint fluid. What? Joint fluid. Oh. It's no real fluid. Is that what's causing the swelling? Yes. I, and I think really capsules are inflamed as well. So you're draining it? She I popped her caps capsule. capsule? What's that? Did you say she popped her capsule? No, the capsule is probably inflamed. Oh, okay. So like a little bit thick with like joint lining and stuff yeah. as well. This fluid looks pretty normal. Good. Um, but the fact that there's those problems that we can see on the x-rays. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's probably a lot of inflammatory mediator in that normal looking fluid. All done? Yep, you can take a off. Good girl, Stella. Has she had a cold? We she don't know. Like she has in the back yeah. end. Yeah, she looks like, I mean, with nipples like that, I would yeah. think that she has. My thought, exactly. Yeah, I thought she was pregnant when I saw those things. Because of those or because of the belly? Or both. Probably a combination. Yeah. yeah. Those things, the belly first and then those. Come on, pretty girl. <laughs> You're like, I have to move now. Step down now. Well, that's a fancy trick. Now, that should stay looking pretty normal. If it puffs up like it did yesterday, I'm not necessarily concerned, okay. but um, I am at the same time. I mean, they can get flares, they can get infections, off, obviously, after joint injections, which Good is night. why I scrub it in sterile gloves yeah. and alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, if it seems like it puffs up in the next week, 10 days at all, let me know. Okay, okay so just anyway. to. So I'll let you know right away, but yes. then if it goes away, if it goes away, quickly, I, what I care about is like, is she sound on it and how warm is it? Uh, because if it's hot and she's lame, it's bad. I mean, yeah. Okay. Usually reactions, you know, flares occur in the first two, well, in, within the first three days, sort I'm of thing. Say Seventy-two hours. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, infections occur sort of like the five to two weeks kind of. Thing. Okay. okay. 
Um, so Monday we'll ride her. Monday she can be, well Sunday she can be ridden lightly. Okay, but um, we'll wait for Fiona to be here on Monday. Okay, yeah. Because maybe we can hand walk her on Yeah, Sunday. that's fine. Uh, you, could ha you could walk her a little bit on Saturday, I'm okay with that. Okay, all right. Um, but I wouldn't actually do anything. No, it yeah, it'll only Sunday just be my eight year old yeah. like yeah. walking. But yeah, her. certainly coming to walk her around. She could walk her up to the barn while her sister rides and then walk her back down. Yeah. yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah. We are home, I'm exhausted. We are at the barn as in 9.30 a.m. and we all left, did appointments and whatever, and then we were back at the barn at four. Um, basically, if you guys didn't see from what I showed in the video, Stella has a couple of little, she has a few um, bone chips that we can get taken out um, if it comes to that, and if it does come to that, we will, but that's not what we're gonna do right now. The most pressing thing is that she has a little tiny bit of arthritis. Um, she has, to uh forget what it's called ligaments maybe that are fusing together uh, they're the bottom ones and apparently uh, once they fuse there's no pain and she'll be completely sound and it's not a big deal that they fuse um but until they fuse it's excruciating so uh he injected her with acid um and there will be more injections in the future for her but not until she's fit so basically she has to get fit like it has to happen under like it just has to happen so we have a big huge regime um uh, he's hoping that she's going to be sound this week um if she's not there are a couple other little things that we will do to make her sound and once that once she's sound which should happen um we will be exercising that girl five days a week sophia will be riding her walk trot uh, 30 minutes five times a week and up hills if we can so we'll be doing some trail rides if we can um yeah that that's what's happening and um once she is once her weight comes down then we have a few more options but that's what happened and it was not as scary as i thought that it would be um it was felt really good to be able to get to the bottom of things and to see what was going on and who knows there could be a long future of things that we need to fix but you know the thing is, is that this is not something that just happened to Stella. This is something that Stella has had and has been dealing with. And yeah, the trail ride um, probably made her feel more sore recently, but this is not new stuff. And it stops here. Like it has to stop here. Like Stella's not going on with more of this stuff she's this is it this is done she's getting fixed now so um anyway that is it for this video i hope you guys um understood a lot of the stuff and got a kick out of the x-rays uh, i thought that was pretty cool um and the injection i've never seen that before i've learned so much it's been awesome i mean in terms of learning still has been a great mare to teach us she's taught us already so much especially how strong and amazing and brave like that that girl man she is amazing anyway that is it see you guys tomorrow bye and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below